Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a really quick video today on how I got cut and lost over 30 pounds for the pre-contest diet. I touched on this briefly in one of the other videos about would I ever compete again. I'm going to get into just a little bit more detail on the specifics of the pre-contest diet that I followed and how that all came to be uh, to lose that 30 pounds and to get down to I think I got down to about 11% body fat or close to 9% for, for the show. And I want to talk a little bit to you today about how I did that because that's one of the questions I get a lot still. And the surprising thing about that question is I get that question from the gym bros who lift and are fitness and nutrition enthusiasts. And they ask that question a lot. And it is a little bit surprising to me because, you know, in our in this gym culture, most of this stuff is pretty benign in terms of the information. You know, uh, it's usually the same same stuff. It's protein, carbohydrates, and fats, right? And a lot of water, and you scale your calories and and you track your calories and and you know what you're eating and what's going into your body, and you typically consume enough calories so that you're not storing fat and you're working out enough so you're burning more than you're bringing in. So it's basically that whole calories in, calories out thing at the end of the day. Um, but it, it is it is a topic that I do get asked about a lot. Um, the average lay person usually doesn't ask me how I did it. It's usually the lifters and, and all that that want to know like what the specifics are. So So here we go. So the protein was 318 grams per day. Carbohydrates, 175 grams, and the fat <clears throat> fat was at about 30 grams per day. That was broken down into six meals. And that was a little bit of a change for me because before that I was doing about four or five meals throughout the course of the day. So the lifestyle had to adjust a little bit to eating a higher amount of meals. The preparation was a little bit different and all that. So we'll get into that as well. So first meal... When I got up, um, had some water, um, had some vitamin C, 500 milligrams of vitamin C, which is a great antioxidant. And I also had three quarters of a cup of oatmeal. I had four ounces of liquid egg whites in that oatmeal. So I cooked the oatmeal up a little bit. Before the oatmeal was finished cooking, I put in four ounces of liquid egg whites, stir that in with, uh, what was it, um, a scoop of uh, whey protein isolate in that oatmeal, mix that around, and I eat that for the first meal. Um, then I would do two hours, three hours later, meal two was a protein shake, two scoops of whey protein isolate with uh, an apple, and I usually do about 15 almonds to get a little protein and some fats in there, get a little calories in. So that was like the snack in between. And then for lunch, it was uh, six ounces of chicken breast, three quarters of a cup of white rice and a cup of greens. And I'd salt the, salt the food a little bit and put a little bit of spices on it. Um, it was always white rice for me. Um, I don't like the brown rice just because it, for me, it digests a lot slower. <coughs> the white rice uh, burns a little quicker for me. Uh, brown rice has more fiber and it tends to, to take a little longer to digest. And, and again, that's just for me. If you like brown rice, go with that, but uh, I like white rice a little bit better. Uh, the fourth meal was the same as that meal. So six ounces of protein, uh, three quarters of a cup of rice, and a lot of greens, and a little bit of olive oil drizzled over that meal. Olive oil, a little bit of coconut oil drizzled on top of that meal. Okay, so that was meal four. And then I usually work out at around two or three o'clock so I'd have meal four was usually right before the workout. And then I'd work out around four o'clock, three o'clock, and I'd do a apple, a whey shake, and some branch chain amino acids to sip on while I was working out. So I'd have the apple and the whey protein shake about an hour before the workout, half hour before the workout, and just to give me a little bit of fuel to get through the workout. And then the branch chain amino acids is an anti-catabolic um, and then during the workout, again, the BCAAs, after the workout, it was two scoops 
of whey protein isolate with glutamine. Um, again, glutamine is a uh, anti-catabolic supplement. It will help you to preserve muscle, especially if you're in a caloric deficit because the calories were a little bit lower. I was below maintenance level uh, for, for a cut. And then meal five, which was dinner, instead of six ounces, was seven ounces of either beef, chicken, salmon, half a cup of rice, large green salad, drizzled with uh, balsamic for me. I like balsamic vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, some salt, some spices. And then um, that was it really for the meals. And then I do my meal six. I would do uh, casein protein, which is slow digesting. I, I do that, mix that around with some almond milk or some water until it turned into a pudding. And then I'd uh, put a scoop of almond butter on that and I'd have that for some fats and and uh, some protein, slow digesting protein while I was sleeping to help preserve the muscle. Um, and that was really it in terms of the diet. Um, I did a gallon of water a day, no exceptions, always drank a gallon of water, uh, sip throughout the course of the day, sometimes a little bit more than a gallon. And that was pretty much it. The first couple weeks of this particular cut, I was doing some cheat days on the weekends. I'd have like a burger or something like that on, on a Saturday. And then about three, four weeks in, I cut that out. So we're talking from February, February, March, April, May, June. February to about June was no cheat meals. So it was really strict diet, protein, carbohydrate, vegetables. Um, for me, I did low fats and that, that worked well. And I did about 40 minutes of cardio per day. I usually tried to burn about three... 150 calories per day for cardio it usually worked out to about a half hour or 40 minutes and I did that right after my workout a lot of people say to do the fasted cardio I never felt a benefit and or saw a difference on doing fasted and non-fasted so this is another one of those cases of doing what works for you fasted cardio might work great for some people um, it didn't really do much for me in terms of burning more fat so if I did my cardio after my workout, at the end of the day after I ate, or if I did it fasted in the morning, didn't make a big difference for me. So, so again, this is one of those things of doing, trying things out and seeing if they work. Um, tried it for several months and I didn't really notice a difference. So, um, you know, that's another topic. As far as other supplements, um, just the vitamin C, I have a multivitamin that I like to take um, when I remember to take it and I'm all out of it right now and I need to order some more. Uh, fish oil, I like omega-3s, I'm all out of those right now too. I like turmeric for an anti-inflammatory. And I like green powder, some spirulina, or just a well-rounded green powder to get antioxidants in. And I was doing some milk thistle. And that was pretty much it in terms of supplements. You know, the branch chain amino acids, the glutamine. I'm not a big supplement guy, but, but I do like some things and I'll, I'll do a video on all my supplements and what I like to take on a daily basis weekly basis and uh, pre-workout post-workout um, I don't do a whole lot of those but sometimes I throw them in and I'll share everything I do in a, in a different video so so that was it that's how I got the cut for the pre-contest diet started the pre-contest diet my weight was oh man I think I was about 256 and I got on stage at about 221 pounds. So 256 down to 221 pounds. Do the math on that one. Uh, we're talking around 30 pounds or a little bit more, um, give or take the water weight. So um, as you can see, it's not complicated. Um, th there wasn't a whole lot extra to do except eat right, do cardio, drink some water. And, you know, in terms of supplements, Again, going off the book supplements and or, or what people sometimes call gear, um, there was none of that for me. Um, I didn't get involved in any of that because I, I don't know much about that. And um, I just wanted to just do it on my own. I wanted to do it without any extra help. So I decided against that. And, um, and you know, it is what it is. I just wanted to, to do this show for me, get the results, and 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 just just go in there and, and compete as is um and you know whether or not uh i think that it, it makes a difference 
Um, I'll do another video on that. I'll do another video on that topic, whether or not gear uh, helps or not. I will do another video on that one because that will be a longer video and I don't want to incorporate that into this video. I just want to stick to just diet on this one. And in the other video, we'll get into all that natty talk and, and all that stuff. I'd love to do a video on that one because that's a, a topic that I discuss all the time with several people. So we'll definitely do one on that. Again, I hope this was informative. If there's any other information you'd like to hear, uh, shoot me a question. Love to answer it. Take care. Be healthy. Stay hydrated. Eat well and have a nice day.